Hi, Wendy. Hi, Zaira. Hi everyone. Good evening. Welcome. Hi Blanca. Good evening. Hello Elena. Hello Jonathan. Good evening. Anna, welcome. Hi everyone. I hope you enjoyed the, the weekend. How are you doing today? Lily, I love the, the daisies, if I'm not mistaken. They look lovely. I always love the backgrounds. Siempre me gustan los backgrounds que ponen en cada clase. They look very nice. <laughs> uh, yes, sunflowers, I think that's the, the right word. And Luis, what about you? Are you drinking coffee? Yes, teacher, thank you. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Ah, okay, do I you find, drink? I find teacher, I find teacher uh, all weekend. I, uh, in the short, uh -huh. Falco City. The weekend was short, right? Every, yes. uh, all weekend. Ah, okay. Hi, Galileo. I see, I'm sorry, but December is coming. December is coming. And I imagine that some of you are going to have vacations next week. Me imagino que algunos van a tener descanso la otra semana, on November the 2nd. Yes. No. Yes, November 2nd. November 2nd. So, you have yes, yes. Hey, second. Uh -huh. I'm, Hi, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What means vacation? Vacation. Vacation. What's mean? I don't know what's mean. <laughs> ah, ah, oh, why? Yes, yes, I just got it. I just got it. I'm sorry, guys, I'm going to take the attendance. Okay, I'm going to take the attendance in this moment and then we continue. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Okay. Ana Lilian. Present. Blanca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Brian Javier. Carlos Antonio. Present. 
Thank you. Francisca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Galileo. Present teacher. Jose Rodrigo. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you, Laura. Present teacher. Present teacher. Luis Ryan. Alfonso. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, María Concepción. María Elena. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. María Ivania. Nelson Gabarrete. Omar Francisco. Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Thank you. Zaira Marleni. Present, teacher. Okay. Eh, Wendy, El Wendy Maribel. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jenny Suleima. Eh, Christian, Christian Lazo. Present, Miss. Thank you. Jose Arnoldo. Present, Miss. Thank you. Jose Jonathan. Present, Miss. Okay. Juan Carlos. Eh, Mayra. Mayra Moreno. Okay. So we're going to start today. We're going to study simple past. We're going to study simple past today. Not the verb be in the past but simple past. We're going to do the same activity we did on Friday. I would like you to tell me two activities. One activity you did on the weekend and one activity you didn't do on the weekend. Vamos a estar practicando simple past y vamos a hacer la misma activity de la vez pasada, ¿verdad? Una actividad que sí hicieron y una que no hicieron. Usando simple past para recordar la structure. You can send it by chat or you can say it. La pueden decir o también enviarla en el chat. Okay, let's start with Jonathan. Jonathan, can you start? <clears throat> one activity you did, one you didn't do. Uh, the microphone, Jonathan. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I didn't visit my mom. Mm -hmm. I did um, go to play basketball. Thank I you. Did. Cuando es affirmative, ya no necesita el did, Jonathan. Solo el I played. Play basketball. I went. I went oh. play basketball. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jonathan. Now let's listen to Mayra. What about your weekend, Mayra? Hi, teacher. Hi. Voy entrando, pero creo que más o menos agarré lo que hay que Okay, decir. if not, I can give you more time. One mm. activity you did on the weekend and one activity you did not do. Algo I que did. hizo y que no hizo. Mm -hmm. I did work in Saturday. Saturday. You did or you didn't? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Okay, my dear. Cuando es afirmativa, ya no pone did. Solo el, el verbo en past tense. Que sería, I worked. I worked. Uh -huh. On Saturday. On Saturday. Huh? And I did not not sleep. You didn't sleep on Sunday or Saturday night? One of the days, Why? Because you were partying and that's the fiesta. So, so. <laughs> okay, Mayra, thank you. Now let's listen to Arnoldo. Arnoldo, what about you? I ate pizza with my family on Saturday and mm -hmm. I didn't work Saturday, uh, Sunday. Excellent. Thank you. Juan Carlos. Two activities, Juan Carlos. On Sunday, I didn't rest mm -hmm. uh, in, in afternoon. Uh -huh. And I did Eat pupusas yesterday. 
You ate. You ate pupusas. Uh -huh. Yesterday. Okay, Juan Carlos. Thank you. The sentences you sent, eh, Elena and Wendy, they look good. Están bien las, las oraciones que enviaron en el chat. Eh, just one comment, Lily. Hay que poner solo el verbo en past tense, Lily. Aquí no vamos a usar el verbi. Solo vamos a poner el verb. I worked on Saturday. O I didn't. So maybe you can change them, Lily. Now let's listen to Anna. Anna, what about you? I I do resting at home and teacher a week. And I didn't leave home last week. You didn't leave home last week. Mm -hmm. Correct. Thank you, Anna. Now Blanca. Your sentences, Blanca. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carlos. My family and I uh, went to the beach. Mm -hmm. When did you go? Saturday. Yes. Uh, other, I, I don't play soccer with my friends. Thank you, Carlos. Just change the auxiliary. I didn't. You didn't play. Uh -huh. didn't. Just that change. Thank you, Carlos. Let's listen to Brian. Brian, what about your weekend? Are you there, Brian? No? Okay, Laura, the one you sent is correct. You went to buy shoes uh -huh, at the store. Hi, Hi. do you have your Sorry. sentences? Yes, yeah. good evening. Uh -huh. In my case, I, I tired. I'm cleaning my house. Uh -huh. I'm washing the clothes. Uh -huh. yes. yes, you did the laundry. Esa sería otra opción. Pero sí, wash you. your clothes, aunque la voz, ¿verdad? Su ropa. Yes. So, yes. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Laura, the sentences look good. Okay. And Galileo, uh -huh, I didn't. Yes, and I sent a really important mail. Is it mail by like a paper mail or email? I'm sorry, uh -huh. it's email. Ah, okay. But besides okay. that, the sentences are correct. Thank you. Let's Thank listen you. to Luis. Luis, what about you? Ah, okay. My wife and, and I were in the church. Uh huh. You went to church. And what I, didn't uh, you do? Uh, teacher and I. Oh, uh, and, and I. And I. Okay. I. Mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't clean my house. You didn't. Uh huh. Correct. El mi, Luis, se utiliza luego de un verbo. Como que yo diga, eh, Blanca invited me. Luego de un verbo ponemos el mi. Pero cuando va en el sujeto, en la parte primaria, ahí se usa I, you and I. Pero luego de preposición o verbo, sí, utiliza me. Or her, or him, todos esos. Ok, en, you, ajá, Elena. Can you continue, Elena? Yes. I went to the market. And the other one? Oh, you, you send it in the chat right now that I remember. Uh huh. No work. And I didn't, no, I did not run from the park. Uh huh. Correct. Thank you. Blanca, are you ready now? No, teacher, tengo, no tengo cabeza para pensar. Ah, ok. Ok, Blanca. That's, that's all right. Don't worry. Christian, are you ready? Yes, miss. Uh -huh. um, Ajá. Uh, On Saturday? Oh, on Saturday, on Saturday night, mm -hmm. I share a lunch with my family. Mm -hmm. 
Um, y uh, the weekend uh, um, I could not rest unnecessarily. Correct. I'm sorry that you couldn't rest enough. The sentences are correct, Christian. They look good. Thank you. Okay. Are you ready, Ellie? Hi, teacher, no, no he llegado todavía, pero ah, okay, okay, no, don't worry. Let me know when you can participate. So, mm -hmm. ahí me aviso. Zaira. Thank you, teacher. Yes, teacher. What are your sentences, Zaira? I was did payroll at my work. Ajá. Uh -huh. And others in in other things uh, i was not with my family uh -huh. correct Zaira. thank you solo la primera elimine el was y solo pone la activity i did i did uh -huh. the payroll <clears throat> okay thank you okay thank you am i missing someone se me queda alguien Algunos las leí ahí en el chat, como la de Wendy, Laura, Galileo. Okay, well, in that case, let's continue. I'm going to share the book. One moment. Yes. Okay. So here we have it. So let's begin with Blanca. Blanca, question number one. Where do trainings take place in your company? Where do trainings take place? Where do trainings, um, like in the company, where do people have them? ¿A dónde tienen los, las capacitaciones en su compañía, Blanca? Where do trainings take place? In my company. No Complejo, ¿cómo se dice? Institution. Solo sé que lo hacen en el complejo. ¿Y está como en una escuela? ¿Es un eh, complejo? No. Es un complejo, pero es, es, se le llama complejo porque es una cancha de, de fútbol y hay de básquetbol y hay una zona. Podría llamarle de, auditorium. O si parece como una cancha, podría ser. Parece una, una... Es, que, es que es así como una. Es como. Le llamo complejo deportivo. Entonces. Lo hacen ahí ah, okay. por, la, por lo mismo de la pandemia. Ah, ok. So por el lugar que crean. A soccer field. In a soccer field. Or in a field. Para no ponerle que es de fútbol. In a... In my company is training... Is... Training take place. Training. Take place. Oh. In a field. Take place is in a, in a field. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay, Blanca. Thank you. Anna, what about you? Where do trainings take place in your company? In my company is in, in Salar Home. Is the training. Where? Again? In, um, in life, in, como diría, teacher, pero es en las salas asignadas ahí ah, dentro de la in a, you can say that it's in a, an assigned hall. In a assigned hall. Ajá. In an is a training. Assigned hall. All mm -hmm. right. You have like a meeting room. Hall. Yes. Es como un meeting room or conference room. Yes, for mm -hmm. pandemic. 
Ah, okay. They created because of that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, Anna, thank you. Brian and you? Well, then my case is, is outside room, sala de marcha, se llama. Mm -hmm. Is that like a meeting room or a hall? Hall is como un salón in a general way. That's a hall. Yes, yes, it's, it's holes. Mm. It's, it's big holes. Ah, how big? Uh-huh, yes, yes. How big? Que tan grande? Like this, the size of a house, of a small house? Son como, digamos, cuatro salones, algo así grandes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. yes, it sounds, it sounds big. Okay, yes. Brian, thank you for your comment. Now let's listen to Galileo. Galileo, question number two. Who are the eligible people to go to trainings at your workplace? Like who are the selected people? How do you say people to go to training? Yeah, in my case, uh, there are uh, two or three groups. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, there are a production team, there are a distribution team, mm -hmm. and there are quality team, in my case in the logistic area um, uh, for example the production manager is the eligible people to take training because mm -hmm. he received the training and he explained after his his training to the rest of the the team oh, okay in in case of the distribution team, mm -hmm. uh, the eligible people is or, or are uh, the driver truck truck driver mm -hmm. because they have the the most high responsibility. Uh huh. Correct. You have some people already selected, right? The appropriate yeah. personnel to receive the trainings. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you, Galileo, for your comment. Teacher, La yes. Teacher, uh, how I can say the word el eligible. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Laura, what about your case? Who are the eligible people to go to trainings? Okay, in my case, uh, the co-workers uh, are eligible depending the area, the la company, the company. Of the company. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. accounting, uh, customer service, uh, service de tar DC car y debit car, uh, hay veces unen. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they join. Okay. Join y luego no sé qué, people or trainings que unen. Eh, el, el personal. Ah, the personal. Eh, for training, training. Ajá, Laura. Okay, good job. <laughs> Thank you. Wendy, do you have trainings in your company, Wendy? Yes. Uh, lately, 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 uh, uh -huh. lately, um, virtual. Virtual. Only uh -huh. virtual. 
Yeah. Uh -huh. Do you like virtual training? Mm, I I don't like because presence presencial uh -huh, in presencial or in person training. Uh, I eat. Ah. <laughs> it's a lunch. It's a breakfast. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You have food, coffee. Yes. Uh -huh. It's better in that in, area. In, in good place. Uh -huh. Correct. When it's so I agree with you. In that case, it's better in person, face to face. And you can socialize. You socialize with people. Yes. Okay. So in this moment, we are going to listen to the conversation so you can practice pronunciation. Okay. I'm going to start and then it will be your turn. Hi, Eric, how is it going? Hello, Mrs. Mrs. Lewis, I'm just fine. Thank you for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable, knowledgeable. Did he provide examples of the topics he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late and we left very late. I'm going to repeat this word that you see here, just in case. It sounds or it looks difficult is no knowledgeable. Like knowledge, knowledgeable. Okay, but now it is it is your turn. We will start by listening to Carlos. Carlos and Luis. Carlos, you're going to start. And Luis, you are Lu you are Eric. Hi Eric. How is, how is the going? Hello, Mr. Lewis. I'm just fine. Thanks for asking. You are welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very not legible. Did he provide examples of the topic he's talking about? Yes, it is. And you use a computer to provide examples. Sound good. So everything was fine, right? Well, it was some minutes late and we left very late. Okay, thank you, Carlos and Luis. It was good, very good pronunciation. Maybe just this question, uh, Carlos, how is it going? How is it going? Can you say it again? How is it going? Uh -huh. How is it going? How is it going? And repeat this one, knowledgeable. 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 Knowledge. Knowledgeable. 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 Uh -huh. Knowledgeable. If you want to, you can also Google it. Si también quieren oírla más, pueden también ponerla en Google y oírla un montón de veces. Okay, a lot of times to practice. But you did well. You did well. Thank you, Carlos and, and Luis. Now let's continue. Let's. Uh -huh. This work is. Um, very well information. Uh -huh. A person who knows a lot. Alguien que tiene mucho conocimiento en alguna área. Is knowledgeable. Como un adjective. Como que yo diga very intelligent. Ahora sería very knowledgeable. Que tiene conocimiento en alguna área. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, yes. gracias. You're welcome. Thank you. Now, Elena, you're going to continue. Elena, is Nelson here? Nelson? Oh, yes, here you are, right. Nelson and Elena. Elena, you are Mrs. Lewis. Nelson, Eric. Okay. 
Hi, Eric. How is it? Hello, Miss Lewis. I am just fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? I was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and the was very knowledgeable. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Knowledgeable. And knowledgeable. Did he provide examples of the topic he talking about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to produce example. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes, some minutes later, and we less very loud. Okay, thank you, Elena and Nelson. I will help you with these words. We will try to say this one one more time. Knowledgeable, okay, slowly. Knowledgeable. No, knowledgeable. Uh -huh. Just listen to me. Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Okay, it's getting better. Va mejorando, okay. Thank you, Nelson. And Elena, thank you. can you say it again? Knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. Correct, thank you. Now let's continue, Rodrigo. Let's listen to Rodrigo. Eh, no más. Okay, Rodrigo, you are Mr. Mrs. Lewis. Omar, Eric. Hi, Eric. How are you going? Hello, Mr. Lewis. I'm just fine. Thank for asking. Welcome. I was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience. Uh, he was very knowledgeable. He provided examples of the Yes, he did. Um, he used a computer to provide example. Oh, cool. So everything was high, right? Well, he was some news late and we Left very, very late. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Omar and Rodrigo. Rodrigo, we don't hear you well. I don't know if there is a problem with the microphone, but I don't hear you very well when you speak. In this moment, I don't hear anything at all. So maybe, maybe you can try to fix it. Tal vez puede ver si lo arregla porque casi no le, no le escucho así, muy poquito. Okay, so I just wanted to tell you that. But thank you, Rodrigo, Rodrigo and Omar. Okay, and now Zaira. Let's listen to Zaira and Wendy. Zaira, you are Mrs. Lewis, and Wendy, you are Eric. Yes, teacher. Hi, Eric. How are it is going? Hello, Mrs. Lewis. I am just fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It is was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. Yes. Did, did he provide example of the topic he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Sound good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late and we left very late. Okay, thank you, Wendy and Saida. And good pronunciation with the word knowledgeable, Wendy. It sounded well, sounds good. Uh, just, I will help you with two words. This one is sounds. Sound. Uh huh, sounds. Sound, sound good. Uh huh, good, sounds good. Sounds good. Yes, uh huh. And the one we see here, that one is experience. 
that's the, the pronunciation, experience. But besides that, you did well. Experience. Mm -hmm. experience. Thank you, Zaira and Wendy. We appreciate your effort. And now let's try to talk about the conversation. Jenny, are you, are you there? Can you participate, Jenny? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. Hello, Jenny. Good evening. Help us with question number one. The question says, what kind of event did Eric attend? What kind of event was it? Did mm -hmm. raining? Uh huh. You can say that he was in a training or he went. He went to a training. Thank you, Jenny. And then we have question number two. What do you think about this, Christian? What did the speaker use to provide examples? What do you think, Christian? What did he use to provide examples? Um, he provided examples. Um, um, Uh, he used a computer. He used a computer. He used a computer. Thank you, Christian. And you, Arnoldo, do you agree with Christian? Do you have the same opinion? Or what did he use? He used a computer to provide examples. Mm -hmm. That's the answer, right? He used a computer. Okay, and Juan Carlos, question number three. What did Eric not like about the event? What didn't he like about the event? What was wrong with the training, Juan Carlos? He was some minutes late. Who? Eric. Who was Eric was late. Yes. Okay, Juan Carlos, thank you. And Mayra, do you have the same opinion? What did Eric not like? Yo digo que sí, same opinion. The same opinion as Juan Carlos. Okay, and Ana, do you have the same opinion? Yes, teacher. Yes. Well, is not is not correct. Is there any other opinion? A different opinion? Teacher. It's another person, hey. teacher. Hey. Hmm? Sorry. No, uh, it is Luis. Uh, no. Tampoco. Is the speaker either? Uh huh. Correct. Hey. It's the speaker, like the teacher or the trainer. The, the trainer training. was late. Trainer. Uh -huh. The trainer was late. And that caused the class to be delayed. Eso retrasó la clase o el entrenamiento, capacitación. So Eric was a trainee. Él era un, era un, eh, una persona que estaba yendo a, a training. An assistant. Uh -huh. Thank you. He was a trainee. But the trainer, he was late. That's the only change. Okay, well, we're going to study simple past. Okay, hoy sí vamos a estar trabajando con simple past. Y vamos a, a practicarlo bastante. That is what we will be doing in, in this class. We're going to study questions mainly. It's gonna be about questions. 
If you don't understand or you want me to repeat something, let me know. En caso necesitan que repita algo, me avisan, okay? Simple past. I have a, a presentation to share with you. Okay. One moment. Okay, so this is what we are going to study. Simple past. And here you have the use. Oscar, can you read the slide, please? Okay, the simple past. Use the simple past to talk about an event that happened in the past. Okay, thank you, Oscar. Okay, so we are going to use simple past to talk about past event. Finish activities, things that are done. Este tiempo lo utilizan con cosas que están totalmente en el pasado. No están para nada conectadas con el presente. And here you have a timeline. Tenemos esta línea de tiempo. And we are here. Now. And let's say that this is 2021. 2021. Okay. This is the present, right? But if you want to talk about a past event, pero si sencillamente quieren hablar de algo que pasó en el pasado, este es el tiempo que debemos utilizar. Simple past. Okay? Like something that happened here. Okay? Graduation. Got a PH from the university. Or it could be something else. Let's change. Let's change the year. Vamos a cambiar el ejemplo. Okay, one moment. So it's not this anymore. Okay, so we have here in 2010. An activity that happened in 2010. Or maybe 2019. Okay. We can say um, the pandemic started in 2019, a past event. The pandemic started. Comenzó, ¿verdad? Todavía seguimos en pandemia, sí. No ha terminado. Pero solo estamos hablando de su comienzo, ¿verdad? De su comienzo, un, algo que ya pasó. The pandemic started in 2019. I'm going to share with you the structure. Les voy a mostrar la, la structure que ustedes ya más o menos, ¿verdad? Han estado practicando. So this is the structure. We will talk about this on Wednesday. Miércoles vamos a hablar un poquito más de los verbos y les voy a enseñar eh, un poquito sobre el ED, el ED ending, que tiene tres, tres tipos de pronunciación, pero lo vamos a ver on Wednesday. But, okay, this is how to use negative, negative sentences. Eli, can you read the information, please? Okay, teacher. Negative one. You said in, didn't. Did not. Did not. You said did not plus the bad, base. Bad for, base from of the verb for negative statement in the simple phrase. Continue the examples too. He, he didn't. He did not have a lot, a lot of money. Mm -hmm. He didn't go to school in England. Thank you. Okay, so this is the negative form. Esto es para oraciones negativas. Can you use the chat and send negative sentences, please? Pueden mandar en el chat unos ejemplos utilizando esta structure. Did not. You can use the contraction if you want to. The contraction is 
didn't is the same, but contracted. Think about negative sentences. Remember, aquí va el verbo en su forma base. No lo vamos a cambiar. Pero el no, en este caso sería didn't, right? Este sería el no. For us. Okay. Mm, teacher, I okay. have a question. Mm -hmm. for, for example, I did not go to visit. Siempre después del go va a ir to. I didn't go to visit to my brother, for example. I didn't go to visit my brother. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Siempre. Cuando hay dos verbos, sí. No siempre puede usar ing también. I didn't go eh, visiting my brother. Sería otra opción. Un, usar ing luego del primer verb. Mm, okay, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Aha, uh -huh, Elena, she didn't buy the shirt. I didn't drink enough water last weekend. She didn't buy shoes in the mall. Luis, do you have an idea? One negative sentence. Sorry, no, my didn't. Aha. Uh -huh. My wife didn't, didn't travel. To Miami uh -huh. this year. This year. For that year. Uh -huh. Correct. Laura, that one is correct. Arnoldo, uh -huh. it's good. Carlos, ideas. One sentence in the negative form. I, I didn't buy the shoes. Didn't buy shoes. Okay, thank you. That will work. Entonces, no va el verb be, ¿verdad? No va was or where. En este caso, el único que usamos es el verbo y did in the negative form. Ajá. Uh -huh. Thank you, Wendy. I didn't travel to Guatemala last year. Okay, let's go on. If you want to, to be more specific, you can use time words and you can use time expressions to talk about this. Galileo, can you read the information, please? Yes. Um, time expressions. Time expressions come at the beginning or at the end of a sentences. Uh, last week, she traveled to Norway. Her parents mm -hmm. visited the capital city a year ago. This morning, we listened to the news about her award. Her award, I'm sorry. Thank you. Uh, just one correction. The last one will be, Luis wasn't, Ellie, because you're talking about a description, not, not an activity. So wasn't. Okay, teacher. <laughs> Can't make you okay. <laughs> That's fine. Thank you, teacher. So time expressions can go at the beginning or at the end. If you put them at the beginning, use a comma. Yesterday, comma. I went to Metro Centro. Or I went to Metro Centro yesterday. No comma. Okay, that's the only change. Can I scroll down? Puedo bajar or, or not yet? Yes, teacher. You can. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. I'm going to go down. One second. Um, okay. So here you have the information to make questions. This is what we will be practicing. Esto es lo que vamos a practicar aún más. Questions in past tense. Here you have the structure and some examples. Okay, Laura, can you read, please, the information? Okay. Yes, no question. Mm -hmm. To may a yes, a yes, no question in the same. Sample past use did 
plus the subject plus the vice forma of the verb. Mm -hmm. Sigo. <laughs> please, please continue. Okay. Uh, did subject, subject based form for bear mm -hmm. other word? Uh, example, did, did she finish college? Mm -hmm. Did her pa parents help her? Thank you. Ok, can I show you the answers? ¿Les puedo mostrar cómo se respondería o no yet? Yes, yes. she did. Ajá, yes. Uh -huh. yes, Laura, that's the, the short answer. Ok. Uh, it's over here. Ok. Did Wangari return to Kenya? Yes. She did. Solo ponen el subject y la palabra did. No tendríamos que poner yes, she returned. No, no vamos a usar el verbo, solo el auxiliar. Did or the negative form, didn't. Wendy, can you read the information, please? Okay, short answer. You can use did or didn't in the short answer, in the simple past tense. Did Wangari return to Kenya? Yes, she did. Did she plant trees in the USA? Uh, US? <laughs> Uh, no, she didn't. Thank you, Wendy. If you want to, you can add WH questions. Recuerden que siempre es permitido que agreguen WH questions. Como, por ejemplo, si quisiera, puedo decir acá, why? Why did he return to Kenya? Okay, where? When? You can change it. ¿Verdad? Así como hicimos con el con el verbi in past tense. Okay, I would like you to create a question, please. Sure. In, yes, Luis. Sorry, in, 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 in this case, the answer is different. When, when you add a WH question. Yes. 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 Uh -huh. The answer is different, okay? Yes, it changes. Okay. If I say, where did you go? I went to the supermarket. Okay, mm -hmm. teacher. That's, that's the change. Okay, and for affirmative statements, it wasn't there, no, no estaba ahí affirmative statements, pero solo vamos a usar subject, verb in the past, in past tense, and complement. This is what you need in affirmative sentences. Like this. My parents, and now the verb, ¿verdad? Pero como es affirmative, voy a pasar el verbo a past tense. Eight. Upusas. Yesterday night. Parents. Eight pupusas yesterday night. Okay, ahí sí vamos a usar el verb in past tense. But in negative sentences or questions, no, we don't. I would like you to elaborate one question. Okay, think about one question and send it in the chat. Creen una pregunta and send it in the chat using past tense. I'm going to give you a moment to send it. Ivania, are you there? Ah, okay. All right. Yes, 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 yes. Estaba, Ivania. Sorry. Okay. Yes. Ivania, do you have questions? Um, did she did she work today? Mm -hmm. Correct. ¿Tiene preguntas sobre, sobre la gramática? ¿Algo que no haya entendido mucho, Ivania? 
Uh, no teacher. Not in this moment? Yes. Okay, thank you. Arnoldo, uh -huh, the, the question is correct. I imagine that is your favorite song, right? So I added that. Juan Carlos, uh -huh, where did you buy the shoes? Did you go to the party? Uh -huh. Did he come from the US last Saturday? Correct. Okay, so that's the way we ask a question. Please continue sending them by chat. Envíenlas ahí en el chat and I will, I will check them out. And if you don't have questions, we will start practicing. No sé si alguien más tiene una duda o algo que no hayan entendido bien. Antes que practiquemos, before we start practicing. No, no questions. Okay, solo hay que practicar, creo yo, para que no nos confundamos mucho, porque las, las estructuras confunden o, o las podemos combinar mentalmente, más que ya tenemos was and were también en la mente de la semana pasada. Okay, so let's, let's practice. I'm going to send you some, well, I sent this document by WhatsApp, okay? This, this document is on WhatsApp and it's about past tense. Number one, uh, part number one, you have to choose and write the answer. You have the question, you have to look for the answer. Part de uno, tienen que leer la pregunta y ver cuál sería la respuesta de la pregunta uno. Ok, como... Um, lo hicimos on Friday, but using simple past. Part two, choose and write, then answer. You have to complete the question and then you complete the answer using the verbs in the list. Van a completar la pregunta utilizando uno de los verbos acá y luego completan su respuesta también. Completan pregunta y respuestas. And number three, answer the questions. Did you listen to the radio yesterday? No. And you give the answer. Do you have questions about the document? No, no questions. Okay. I think I'm going to take the attendance I'm going to take the attendance first, and then I'm going to let you go, okay, to work on this. So, Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Present. Blanca Elizabeth. Present. Brian Javier. Present. Carlos Antonio. Present. Francisca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Galileo. Present, ma'am. Jose Rodrigo. Present. Okay, Rodrigo, now I hear you well. Luis Alfonso. María Concepción. María Elena. I'm here, teacher. María Ivani. Here, teacher. Nelson Gabarrete. I hear, miss. Okay, thank you. Omar Francisco. Present. Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Zaira Marleni. Present, teacher. Okay. Wendy Maribel. Present. Jenny Suleima. Present, teacher. Thank you. Cristian Ernesto. Present, Miss. Jose Arnoldo. Here. Jose Jonathan. Present, Miss. Okay. Juan Carlos. Present. Okay. And Mayra Morel. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, and the questions you have sent, they look good. La que mandó Elena, Ana, Carlos. The questions are correct. Wendy, Jonathan. Jonathan changed the verb. Jonathan, tenemos que poner el verb in, in present tense. Came estaría in, in, in past tense. Laura, the same. Para la pregunta, Laura, el verbo va en su forma básica. 
Así que hay que poner travel, no ed, porque el ed ya sería past tense. Eh, Tenelli, correct. The question is correct. Ajá, uh -huh. come, Jonathan. Ok, I'm going to team you up. Just give me like a minute and I'm going to create the, the rooms. You're going to work in, in pairs. Okay. Please accept the invite. You're going to get it in the next seconds. You'll be working in pairs. Luis, are you there? Luis? Yesterday, is the boy helped you yesterday? The boy, no, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Okay, that's Is the cow girl jump six meter? Did the kangaroo jump six meter? Yes, it did. Yes. Yes, it did. Let us see, yeah. Let us see. Canguru, jam. Ah, sí, porque es el salto del canguru. Es el animal. No, el salto del canguru. Bueno, lo que sea. Did you and your friends dance in the party yesterday? Ah, sería. Ah, you and your Entonces sería el yes we did. Sorry guys to interrupt. Do you need any help from me? Is there something I could help you with? Or are you fine? Are you okay? In this moment, in this it's moment? easy. <laughs> You're okay. Okay, just one, one comment. I have room for one or any of you in the private session today. Is there any of you who wants to stay? 
¿Hay espacio para repetir la sesión de 10 minutos? ¿Hay alguien de ustedes que se quiera quedar para practicar pronunciation or speaking? Or ¿Anything? Para re ¿Se puede repetir? Uh -huh. Si quieren, no es obligación, pero este, les quería preguntar si había alguien que se quisiera quedar. Mi teacher. You. Ok. Sí, okay. O no sé si los demás. No, Mañana. No sale, si no le sale nadie, yo. Ok. Mañana <ríe> también se puede. ¿Hay alguien que quiera mañana? Oscar o Rodrigo. Yo mañana, sí. Mañana. Yes. Ok. Yeah. Ok, guys. I'm going to let you continue in that case. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. All right. You. See you in a moment. Bye bye. El verbo. ¿Cómo se llama? Es su forma. Es su forma. Es su forma, ¿cómo se llama? Forma normal, ¿cómo se dice? Ajá. Base, base form. Como presente, ajá. Ajá. Mm -hmm. Hi, Blanca. Mm -hmm. Hi, Porque es verdad que va con did. Do you need help? Hi, teacher. Maybe, no. no. Um, lo vamos a poner con did. Y luego el verbo en su forma normal. ¿Verdad? Ah, okay. Sí, okay. teacher. Ah. Así es. I don't know, no sé de qué, de qué me están hablando ahorita. ¿Cuál es en la segunda la, parte. En la segunda parte. Es que yeah. como en la segunda parte. En la segunda parte, como es una question, lo vamos a poner con did y el verbo normal. Ajá. Yes. Sí, porque es una pregunta. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, sí. Correct. Uh, just one comment. Sorry, eh, el miércoles hay espacio para repetir la sesión de 10 minutos si quieren practicar o pronunciation or anything like that. No sé si hay alguien de ustedes que se quisiera quedar de nuevo. Si no, no hay problema, no. pero si les gustaría. Yo. yo. Ok. <risa> Vaya. Entonces, el miércoles. <risa> ya, ya, ya pregunté de los otros días, pero si quisieras, Eli, podríamos quedarnos ahora. Y no hay nadie para ahora. Pues si quiere, sí. me quedo yo. Ah. Sí, Wendy me dijo de que si no había nadie, que sí le dijera, Ay, pero que si no, se quedaba él. Entonces, mm. sí. Si quieres quedarte, porque ella me dijo, si no hay nadie, yo me quedo. Entonces, no sé cómo Vaya, a ver. Ok, entonces Vaya, nos quedamos bien. ahora, Eli, y el miércoles, Blank, porque Rodrigo okay. se va a quedar mañana. Ok, entonces las voy a dejar que continúen. Ok, y then we, we continue. Ok, okay. teacher, thank you. Ajá, uh -huh. you're welcome. Eh, solo voy a ir a chequear con Wendy, solo para confirmar que no vaya a haber ningún malentendido y, y te confirmo, él. Bueno, Gracias, teacher. Yesterday. No. Hi, sorry to interrupt again. Wendy, <laughs> just one comment. Eli me comenta que sí le gustaría quedarse hoy. Entonces ah, quería sí. preguntarle si quisiera quedarse usted. O que se quede Eli. No, no, por mí que se quede Eli. Ok. No hay problema. Right. No hay, agarro yo otro. No <laughs> ok. Alright. Ok, you can continue. I just wanted to, to tell you. To okay. tell you about that. Okay. The forest cleaner. Puede ser más largo. Ya va a ver. Hi, Anna. Oh. Ah, sorry, Lily and Ivania. How are you doing? Están luchando con la... Bien. Para editar el, el exercise. ¿Y por qué no lo ponen en el notebook? Podrían ponerlo solo la respuesta. Para que no les cueste. No. Porque así le tomamos la foto y ya nos queda ordenadito de una vez. Ah, ok. And do you need help? From me, Lily or Ivania. Is there something ah, I could help? Solo respuesta, uh, What do you mean? Mm. ¿Cuál es la pregunta? I didn't, I didn't understand. La number one. Or... 
the question and the answer. Y al otro lado hay que poner la respuesta. ¿Sí? ¿Eso es lo que me preguntaban o no? Ah, sí, solo con la respuesta. Para no... Para no poner en los cuadritos. No entiendo, sorry. No, habría que siempre completar los cuadritos y luego la respuesta. Lo que decía Ajá. la teacher es que se podía escribir aparte para no, Ajá, para no ir colocándolo no, directamente. Por si les cuesta mucho. Uh -huh. Pero siempre lo tenemos que, que hacer la pregunta y luego la respuesta. Ajá. Okay, but about the about the exercise, you don't have questions. Or about the grammar? No, no tienen dudas. Pues creeríamos que no. No. A la hora de la comprobación se va a ver. Okay, so in that case, I'm going to let you continue. I'll see you in, in a moment. Okay. Bye, la cuatro. Hola, teacher, teacher. Hi, is there okay. something I can help you with? Tell me. Okay. Tenemos una consulta. Ajá. Aquí ya lo hemos estado haciendo, pero no sabemos si está bien. En la segunda parte. Uh, ¿Cómo? Porque solo veo en blanco todo. <risa> ah, no, es que no lo puedo, como le tomé screenshot y yo estoy compartiendo. Ajá. Ah, pero no lo estamos copiando ahí, sino que cada quien en su es cuaderno. En su cuaderno. Ajá. Sí, en el notebook, está bien. Solo pongan yes. el numérenlo para que no se vayan a perder. Sí, el numeral, uh -huh. estamos poniendo por lo menos en la primera, hemos puesto en la parte 2, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, this Vicky playing football, football at school. Ajá. Con solo que pongan ah, okay. el did y el verbo. Ya con ah, eso esa es suficiente. la pregunta, porque mirábamos los dos, es, los dos espacios, entonces es como es pregunta, va primero el did, ¿verdad? Ajá, entonces solo ponga okay. la, lo que falta en el espacio y de ahí lo demás, ahí lo vamos a ir viendo. Y la respuesta es la que sigue allí, ¿verdad? Ajá, y ya mm -hmm. cuando no. estemos en el main room, ahí les voy a enseñar bien ya cómo quedaría para que confirmemos. Ah, okay. Ok, sí, yo thank you. Pregunta, pero eso sí es el colmo, ¿va? pero se lo voy a preguntar. ¿Qué es el verbo? ¿Es en main form o hay que agregarle? ¿En dónde? ¿En la pregunta? En la, en la pregunta, ajá. En base form. En base form, ¿verdad? Tenía mm -hmm. dudas. Yes, base form. Ah, pues creo okay. que sí, ahí vamos. Ok, en about two minutes we will return. Lastimosamente. Sí. Porque ya Bye. todos están. Ajá, para continuar. Ok. Sí. Okay. Hi, Carlos. En Omar. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hello. Miss, is correct. Uh -huh. Is correct. Is eh, la parte uno. Let's see. Dice, did she visit her grandmother this morning? Is, is correct. Uh, yes, she, yes, she did. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Mm -hmm. Letting yes. Me. Yes. Y, eh, la segunda parte. Is correct. Um, did Vicky play football at his school? No, no, she didn't. Which one? Did number two. En el second part. En el second part. Ah, second part, number two. Yes. Did they? Vicky, Miss. Ah, number one. Yes. Did Vicky play, play football? Play school. Mm-hmm. No. She? No, no she, she didn't. No, she didn't. She didn't. Correct. Donde Omar Donde Omar dijo de que O sea, le pidiéramos ayuda en la, en la Tercera parte en la, uh -huh. tercera, en la tercera parte 
dijo Mar de que, que le complique porque muy fácil está. No, uh -huh. eh, no, realmente eh, era, era, era como que yo le pregunto y él responde y se pone la segunda respuesta. Por ejemplo, la, la, la primera dice, Did you listen to the radio yesterday? Entonces, como que yo pregunto y Omar responde, No, no, I didn't. Y eso es lo uh -huh. que teníamos que escribir, ¿verdad? La respuesta eh, de la segunda persona. Personal, no question. It's not personal. Ya vamos en, en la siguiente parte, ya vamos a llegar a personal. Estas son dependiendo de lo que ya está ahí escrito. Si dice que no, va sí. a ser negative. Y si dice yes, es que va a ser affirmative. Pero sí, ya vamos a llegar a un exercise que ya es más de, de ustedes, más personal. Ah, okay. lo, lo que pasa es que las seis, las seis eh, answers que se aparecen ahí, uh -huh. todas son did you, did you, did you. Uh -huh. Todas. It's correct. Entonces yes. la respuesta sería, okay. serían okay. yes I did o no I did. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, Ajá, así okay. quedarían esos. Ok. Okay, in, in about 40 seconds, we will go back, okay? And, and we will check the answers. See you in one moment. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, pues sí, Omar. He's, he's back. Me dejó. <laughs> yes. Yo quería okay. ir a otro room, pero ya no me dejó entrar tampoco el sistema. Oh, okay, okay, so let's return to the other one. Hi, hi, side. I'm sorry I couldn't go and visit you and Jenny. How could I help you, Saida? What was your question? Yeah. I need, I need help. Yes. En la, en la tercera parte teníamos dudas si era respuesta corta o larga. Ah, short, short answer. Ah, okay. Yes, I'm sorry I couldn't, okay. I couldn't okay. go. But right now we will check with all of you to see if we have the same, if we have the same answers. If you have something different, please, and you have a question, let me know. Okay, so we will start with um, Rodrigo, Oscar, Wendy. Okay, Rodrigo, did Sue visit her grandmother this weekend? Uh, yes, she did. Yes, she did. Did, sí. Letter E. A, E. E, okay. Thank you, Rodrigo. That sounds correct. Now, Arnoldo and Galileo, number two. Did you talk on the phone this afternoon? What was the answer? Letter F. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, thank right. you. And let's continue with Lily and Ivania. Did Peter and Daisy paint the picture? Um, eh, no, they didn't. Letter D, right? Yes. D. Okay, thank you. <laughs> let's continue with Saira and Jenny. Number Five. Did the kangaroo jump six meters? Teacher is number four. Ah, oh, I'm four sorry. Points, Thank you. Did the boy help his mom yesterday? Is B. Letter B. No, yes, he letter didn't. B. Okay, that's the one. Thank you. Now, Carlos. Alfonso, well, uh, Carlos and Oman, right? Uh, did the kangaroo jump six meters? Yes, it did. Let us see. Let's continue. Laura, Anna, and Elena, did you and your friends dance at the party yesterday? Teacher, no serían Letter. los números de poner. Bueno, es lo mismo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. 
Letter A. A. I'm sorry, letter A, right? Yes, letter A. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Okay, thank you. We have them correctly. Now let's continue with Jonathan, Christian, and Juan Carlos. Number one, uh, Christian, can you read the question and the answer? Of course. Um, did Vicky play football at school? No, she didn't. Uh -huh. Did Vicky play? No, she didn't. Correct. Thank you. Number two, Mayra, what will be the question? Did they cook lunch yesterday? Yes. Did they cook lunch? Yes. Yes, they did. They did. Uh -huh, because that's the subject. Thank you. Now let's continue with Oscar, number three. Did you talk? Mm -hmm. Did you talk on the phone yesterday? Uh -huh, no. no, I didn't. I didn't. Okay, thank you. Blanca, number four. Did we care? Clean up his bedroom this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, he did. She or he? He. He. He did. <laughs> Thank you, Blanca. That's the one. Okay, Galileo, number five. Did Julie work for a newspaper last summer? Yes, she did. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. And then number six, can you help us with that one, Ivani? Um, did your own and uncle listen? Mm -hmm. To the radio? Uh, uh, to the radio yesterday evening. Uh -huh. uh, yes. Yes, we did. Uh, they. 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 they uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, they did. That's the only change. Uh -huh. Your aunt and your uncle. Okay, thank you. Do you have questions or doubts? Hay alguna duda or comentario in any of these two parts? Sherry, en la última no quedaba, I didn't. No, they didn't. Uh, yes. Ah, uh, sorry. Yes, I see. <laughs> Thank you, Ana. Besides that, aparte de eso? No. no. Okay. I'm going to erase the info and let's check the last one. Part number three. It was easier, right? just to finish, to answer it. Okay, so Jenny, did you listen to the radio yesterday? No? Did you listen to the radio yesterday? No, uh, I didn't. Mm -hmm. Yes, and now Omar, did you play in the park last week? Yes. I did. Yes, correct. Okay, Laura, did you climb a tree yesterday? Yes, it did. 
no. It has I been. Uh -huh. No, I. No, ah, ok. No, I didn't. Correct, Laura. That's the one. Ok, Juan Carlos, did you study English last week? Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, in your case, you did, right? And here too. Now, number five. Yes, number five here. Nelson, did you clean up your room yesterday? No, I didn't. Okay, thank you. And then the, the last one we have here. Wendy, did you help your mom yesterday? Did you help you no, mom? Your yes, mother. Ah, oh, my mother. Seria... Yes. Yes, I did. Ajá, uh -huh, that could be a possibility. That podría ser una opción. Based on this. Well, yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Thank you, Wendy. We will practice a little bit more, but individually. Sure. Vamos. Yes, Ali. Sorry. Y mom no es como mom. Yes, pero informally, informally speaking, some people use that. Informalmente utilizan así, mom, como más callejero, por decirlo así. But mom mm -hmm. is the correct form. Mm, thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to use the chat. Vamos a usar el chat. And you have to elaborate the questions. But send me a private message. Asegúrense que sea un mensaje privado. O si no, toman una foto y me la mandan aquí en, en el chat de WhatsApp. It says, write simple past questions using the verbs. Vamos a, a escribir la pregunta utilizando el sujeto y el verbo que ya han sido dados. Ya el complement ya está también, pero tienen que elaborar la pregunta. It says, you meet your boss yesterday. Question. Entonces ya quedaría, did you meet, ¿verdad? Así sería la pregunta. Did you meet your boss yesterday? And that is what you have to do with number two, three, four, five, until number eight. Okay, just elaborate the question. Is it clear? Or do you have questions? So, ¿tienen alguna duda de, esta, de este ejercicio? No. Laura, do you understand? No. Este es solo una question, teacher. Uh -huh. Siempre sería con did, digamos. O yes. con W question, o solo did, usando did. Yes, no questions ahorita. Ah, oh, ok, 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 teacher. Uh -huh. Y me la manda en un private message o si las va a hacer en su notebook, toma una foto y me la manda ahí. Mm -hmm. Todas. Mm -hmm. And I will be reading the messages. Teacher, pero sin contestarla o si las vamos a contestar con yes o no. No, that's fine. Just the question. Ah, ahorita solo en redacción, ok. okay. Yes, just the question. Teacher. Tell me, Arnoldo. In the number four, 
the verb is the correct past or is past. Ah, yes, it's past with double S. I'm going to, to put the correction here. Thank you, Arnoldo. Okay, Juan Carlos, the questions are correct too. Thank you, Jonathan, the same. Jenny, you're doing well. You're doing well. Wendy, good questions. Uh -huh. Good grammar. Zaira, the same. The questions are looking, looking good. Okay, Arnoldo, uh -huh. the questions are correct too. Now, Elena, let me see. Uh -huh. Yes, Elena, thank you. And... Okay. Carlos. Yes, Carlos, the questions are correct too. Thank you. Bea. Miss, I was, uh -huh. was a glam and Miss. Ah, okay. Ahorita reviso, Nelson. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay. Ana, they are correct too. Vamos a ver ahorita. No veo el suyo, Nelson. O es el último que me cayó. No, estos son. Blanca. Ah, sorry. Al grupo, ¿verdad? No. Ok, thank you. You did a very good job. ¿Están bien? Ok, so now you have to write. Teacher, también le, le envié el mío. No sé si, si ya lo vio, porque no me mencionó. Uh, ¿Dónde lo Pero envió? lo mandé aquí en el, en el chat de, ah, de... No, estaba viendo ahorita las que estaban en WhatsApp. Uh -huh. No, había visto. El último que leí acá fueron de Juan Carlos. But yes, ajá, todas las que veo están bien. Ok, hey, Galileo, ajá. Ok. So let's let's continue. Oscar, yes, excellent. All of you created the questions correctly. Okay, now in this moment, we have to create or write seven questions, and later you are going to ask your classmates. Ahora tienen que ustedes pensar en tres. I'm sorry, seven questions. Pueden utilizar WH questions y in about three to four minutes, en alrededor de cuatro minutos, los voy a enviar al breakup room. 
para que se pregunten each other so you can ask around. Okay, aquí van a crear ustedes sus propias preguntas. Y luego van a preguntar a sus compañeros. <coughs> Questions about this activity? Sobre algo en particular o cualquier. No. About anything you want. De lo que sea. Seven. Seven questions. Hmm? Only, yes or, only yes or no question. No, you can add WH. Pueden agregar where, when, why, para hacer más difícil las cosas. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, ah, and I wanted to let you know, solo recordarles antes que se me olvide. Eh, creo que ya igual ya saben, ¿verdad? Pero para la encuesta, recuerden que la, la tenemos que hacer acá, todos juntos, el día miércoles. Y ya me mandaron el horario. Vamos a llenarla a las 9 y 10. A las 9 y 10, el miércoles, vamos a, a llenar el, eh, la encuesta de Insafor para que traten de no hacerla antes. Ok, so just, just a reminder. Okay, so in four, three minutes, I'm going to send you to the rooms. Hi, Ivania. Could you listen to the activity we're doing? Ivania logró escuchar lo que estamos haciendo. Eh, no, teacher. No. Uh, lo único que en el libro hay una que completar. Uh -huh. Eso estamos haciendo. Sí, you ya have... la pasada, pero cuando tomo fotografía. Ah, esas no. Son las anteriores. Seven cuando questions. Ajá, que va a hacerle a sus classmates. Mm. In two minutes, en dos minutos vamos a abrir los breakup rooms. Mm -hmm. Laura, do you have a question? Mm, no, teacher. No, no question. No. Ah, ok. <laughs> How many dogs do you have, Laura? Only one dog. One, teacher. One. Ah, okay. And why is your dog barking? ¿Por qué ladra? ¿Tiene hambre? Eh, no, no, no tengo. Son del vecino. Mi, ah. My neighbor. My neighbor. Is, uh, ah. I, I hear cerca, o sea, se escucha near. cerca, pero uh -huh. no son mías, hay near. Ah, ok. <laughs> no, no, son you, they were no, 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 no peck, le iba a decir. Ah, ok. <laughs> ok. <laughs> How many questions do you have? Are you almost ready? Three. Three. Okay. So in, in one, one more minute, I guess. And then I will open the rooms. Arnoldo? I sent my, my question to the WhatsApp. Ah, the last questions. Please check and correct me, please. Um, uh, question number six, maybe. I think that one is in present tense. Like, do you have children? 
Or what do you mean? Que si tiene oh, hijos. Si tiene, ¿verdad? En presente. ¿O no? Yes. Ajá, entonces ahí sería con el do. O si no, podría ser en past tense y que le ponga que si tuvo hijos el año pasado. Did what you have you, children last year? What do you have? Oh, ajá, what year? Or which year did you have children? Teacher. En no es, no es, Arnoldo. Children es, es sin S. The other ones are correct. Las otras sí estaban bien. Just number six, Arnoldo. Um, Lily, do you have a comment? Yes, eh, las preguntas se pueden hacer usando was, were, o solamente did y did. It depends. Mm, preferably, de preferencia, solo con did, para practicar más eso, ¿verdad? But if you want it to, pero si quisiera, le puede agregar this. Okay, I'm going to open the rooms in this moment. You're going to go back to talk to your classmate, to your partner, and I will try to listen to you for a moment. Voy a tratar de estar con ustedes un momento. Si ustedes escuchan, ¿verdad?, de que su compañero cometió un error, Pueden también decirle para que entre los dos también se ayuden, por si acaso no logro llegar y escucharlos un momento. Ok, so please open up the, the room and ask your questions to your partners. Ivania no le llegó, ¿verdad? No le ha llegado ningún... No, escuché, yo no. Ajá. Vaya, ahorita. One moment. La voy a enviar con Laura. Room number four. Please accept the invite. Uh, teacher, mm -hmm. I question, where did you trip? Where did you trip last year? Where did you go on a trip? Where did you go on a trip? Uh huh. I I went. I don't went. I don't. I I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't go. Oh. Mm -hmm. I didn't go. Uh, any, any, any place. on a trip, or I didn't go in any trips. I didn't go on a trip. Y siempre se va a utilizar el, el didn't. O sea, no necesariamente tiene que poner el, cuando son preguntas con doble, doble B. W H, ajá. Sí. Eh, Siempre va a ir el, el sujeto primero y luego el, el did o el didn't. Cuando es la pregunta, ¿Sí? si siempre va no, a llevar el did. Cuando, no, la respuesta. La respuesta cuando es afirmativa no lo lleva. No lleva es did. Es el verbo en pasado. Ajá. Solamente cuando está en negativo. 
Y el verbo en presente, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ok. Eh, la otra pregunta era, what did you... Ya no veo. <risa> what did you lose yesterday? Le faltan los lentes. Ah, what did you lose yesterday? Lost o lost? Lose. L U o L O. L O S E. Ah, los. Ok, los es pasado, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Los. I didn't lose. No, I didn't. I didn't lose or lose. 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 I didn't lose anything. Mm -hmm. I didn't lose anything. When did you buy your shoes? When did you buy your shoes? I bought my shoes on Adobe. Okay. Did the teacher pass the attempt? Can you repeat, please? Did the teacher pass the attempt? Yes, she, she did. Okay, you're doing well. Just remember, when it is a negative sentence, you use didn't and the verb in the base form. And attendance, attendance, Juan Carlos. Attend is the verb and attendance is like assistance. I'm going to let you continue, okay? But if you have any questions, uh, you can let me know. Okay. Voy a marchar ya, but... Me voy a marchar, pero pueden seguir ahí practicando, ¿ok? See you okay, in a teacher. moment. Ok, Laura. What did you have for breakfast this morning? What did you have? Having, no, having, ya no me acuerdo cómo se pronuncia. Have. Have. What have. did you have? What did you have for breakfast this morning? Uh -huh. uh, what the... <laughs> Ay, ahí sería respuesta larga. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, I have. I have. I have it. Pupusas. And, and chocolate. <laughs> Chocolate. Uh -huh. Chocolate. Cho hot chocolate. Ajá. Uh -huh. Chocolate in morning. Laura, you can say, I had pupusas and had chocolate. Pero ahí sería como comí. No, I had it pupusas. Así sería, teacher. I had it. No. No, solo I had. I had. Estamos ah, sustituyendo okay. a, a it. I had okay. pupusas and chocolate in morning. Yes. <laughs> Mm, sounds okay. sounds good. Hot chocolate <laughs> and pupusas. I like the, the combination. Yes. Eh, la otra, María Elena, what time did you arrive in class today? To the class. Yes. Only that change. <laughs> Sorry. Two. Mm -hmm. To I, the class. Uh, all right. Hey, doctor. Uh -huh. All right, she, all right. And on plot. Okay, I finish. A question. You want to continue, Laura, or me? You. <laughs> For Anna. Did you? Okay. Where did the train take place? Es en qué okay. lugar? Teacher, justo a tiempo viene. Hi, how are you doing? I, I, I have the question. Yes. yes. Eh, para ser sinceros, uh -huh. me fui a ver un material de una clase anterior donde uh -huh. había un ejemplo y dice, Where did the training take place? Uh -huh. 
¿Dónde it's tomaste, okay. esto, ¿dónde tomaste el entrenamiento? ¿Con uh -huh. qué lugar? Yes. Se puede eh, decir, where did the train take place? Where did the training take, take place? No, no, no training, no que train, no entrenamiento. No sé si, si así estaría bien. Solo poner where, where did uh -huh, the train. Mm, train, y así lo vio Carlos. Train. No, 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 esa palabra no. Yo, 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 no, 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 no lo vi así. Yo pregunto si se puede modificar así. No, porque si ya pone train, ya, ya es otra cosa. Es como entrenar en pasado. Tiene que ir con ING, training. Ah, es correcto, es correcto. Yeah, a, menos que, a menos que lo ponga como, por ejemplo, miro, o miro. De, 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 no, pero es que también es mi, miro, reunión. Meeting, ajá, podría ser meeting con ING. Porque usted, si lo pone de otra manera, ya no es reunión, sino que ya pasa a ser un verbo de reunirse en un lugar. Miss, ajá. para crear oraciones con where, eh, the past tense, example, please. Una oración, con una question, con past where. tense, using where. Yes. Where did you go yesterday? Where you did you, did you go yesterday? Yesterday. Just a second. Hmm? Okay, yes, where did? Uh, antes, where did? Where. Okay, okay. Nosotros decimos did where. Entonces aquí está la... La relación. Ah. Ok. Primero me... ponemos el WH y luego okay. va siempre el auxiliar. Who, who, Ajá. Did is for it. Ok. No. Con, bueno, con who es como una exception para la regla. Si uh -huh. quiere preguntar, por ejemplo, ¿quién? ¿Quién fue al training? Esa pregunta va a cambiar. Creo que ya casi vamos a regresar, ¿verdad? Y lo puedo poner ahí en el whiteboard porque es una excepción a la regla, por decirlo así. Pero si okay. es con quién, ahí sí. Who did you go? I'm sorry, Oscar. Omar. I'm going to, I'm going to tell you more here. So guys, did you, did you have some questions? No sé si les surgieron a ustedes también dudas que pueda contestarles ahorita antes que nos vayamos. Nelson. No, miss. Not in your case. Okay, I'm no. going to share. Arnoldo, Galileo, how did it go with you? Good? Okay, all good, all fine. Okay, well, I'm going to answer one question uh, Omar asked about the, the structure we use with who. Solo, él me preguntaba, ¿verdad? Porque cuando utilizan WH questions, ese es el primero que ponen. Como que digamos, where, when, why, pero hay dos excepciones a la regla en todos los tiempos. No solo en past tense, sino que en futuro, en todos. Who. Cuando preguntan con who, ahí va a cambiar la pregunta. Van a ser, por ejemplo, who ate pupusas. In the morning. Si preguntan quién, no vamos a poner ni did, ni vamos a poner sujeto. Porque no sabemos el sujeto. No puedo decir who did you, who did she. Porque no, porque estamos buscando al subject. Así que por eso no lo podemos escribir en la pregunta. <coughs> Solo vamos a poner el verbo en past tense. Who ate pupusas? I can say Ana, y aquí encontramos al subject. Ana ate pupusas. I didn't eat pupusas. Okay? Es una excepción a la regla porque no sabemos quién es el sujeto. Entonces, Ahora, ahí, ajá. ahí no se necesita el did. El ahí auxiliar. no. No. No auxiliary, no subject. Ni el subject porque tampoco sabemos cuál es el subject. A menos que quieran preguntar who with, ¿verdad? 
who with, de con quién, ahí sí lo ponen porque sí sabemos el sujeto. Who did eh, Blanca, <laughs> Blanca go to the movies? With. with. Ok, sí sabemos quién es el subject, estamos hablando de Blanca. Entonces, who did Blanca go to the movies with? Ok, um, she went to the movies por cinema with, y ya mencionamos a esa persona, Jenny. Okay. She went to the movies with Jenny. Okay. Así que esa va a ser una excepción a la regla. La primera. Jenny, do you have a comment? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, my question is, when I use where or was, I don't use this in, in question. Uh -huh. Correct. 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 For, for example, when you were a kid, sería, what were your favorite play? What were your favorite places? Play, play, juego, o juego, no sé cómo Toys, ah, games. Um, games. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. yes, Jenny, porque no es una activity. Es... Estamos hablando de, de sus juguetes. Ajá, so, uh -huh. ahí no va a ir, solo el perfil. For break. Uh -huh. Ok, el último comment. La otra excepción a la regla es cuando utilicen which. If you use which, ¿verdad? Que significa cuál o cuáles. Eso también va un poco distinto. La estructura, the structure. Which, y luego tienen que colocar acá el noun. ¿Ok? Del que estén hablando. ¿Ok? Which eh, toy or which cell phone did you buy? Okay. Tienen que colocar la cosa de la que hablen, porque podría ser otra cosa. Which car did you buy? Which computer? Which laptop? Which bottle of water? Entonces, luego de which, no va a ir. Luego de which, van a poner... El, el, la cosa, la posición de la que hablan. Ok, so only those two comments. Tomorrow we will practice a little bit more. Jonathan, do you have a comment? Oh, yes, con how se utiliza entonces igual que where, when and why. How? How? Mm, it depends for ¿En qué sentido estaríamos utilizando how? Por ejemplo, um, I make a question. Mm -hmm. um, how long did you brother study English? Ah, pero ese es una pregunta compuesta. No es justamente how y algo más. How long es como todo el WH question, Jonathan. Ok. Así que ahí con how... Mañana, mañana les voy a explicar how se puede utilizar de distintas maneras. Pero okay. how long es uno, es un WH, es compuesto. Okay. Ajá. Ok, so I wanted to give you those comments. Tomorrow we continue practicing, ok. We continue practicing past tense. In the next days we will continue practicing past tense. Ok, so that's going to be it for now. I'm just going to take the attendance and you will be... Free to go. Okay, just give me one moment. And we start with Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Present teacher. Blanca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. Brian Javier. Carlos Antonio. Present. Francisca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Galileo. I'm here, ma. Thank you. Jose Rodrigo. Present. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Luis Alfonso. María Concepción. María Elena. María Ivania. 
I'm here. To... Thank you, Elena. Present. Nelson Gavarrete. I'm here, Omar. Miss. Okay, thank you. Omar Francisco. Okay. Oscar Arnulfo. Huh? Present. Okay, Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Jenny Suleima. Wendy and Wendy. Teacher, no me mencionó. <laughs> Present. <laughs> okay. Present. Thank you. Okay. Christian. Christian Ernesto. Present, Miss. Okay, Jose. Present. Thank you. Present, Miss. Okay, Jose Jonathan. Present, Miss. Juan Carlos. Present. And Mayra. Okay. Present, Mayra yes. Morena. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to stay with Ellie tonight, but I hope you enjoy the rest of your night, okay? Streams to all of you. Good night, good See you. Good night, Miss. Good night. Hello. Bye, Nelson. Good night. Good Bye, night. Bye. See you. Good night. Blessing. Thank you. Good. Bye, Saira. Bye, Nelson. Good Bye. night. Good night. See you tomorrow. One moment, please. Okay, Ellie. The chair se me arruinó la computadora. <laughs> really? What se happened? Me arruinó la computadora. ¿Qué le pasó? La conecté y echó chispa el. Uy. En la cosa esa. El y, cargador. Y ahorita ya no agarra carga, se apagó. Uy. Entonces ahí el teléfono no me sirve la cámara frontal, así que no nos vamos bueno. a ver. Bueno, ah, okay. Usted, sí. ok, yo le escucho, eso es lo importante. Y de ahí veo algo que no entiendo qué es, pero vamos a, a ignorarlo. So, Eli, how could I help you? No sé, se ve como algo como blanco. No sé, quizás la ah. cámara está topando en algo, no sé. No, este, así es, teacher, mire, si, si yo pensé que estaba sucia y lo limpio, pero Ah, no. está quebrada quizás el, el vidrio. Quizás porque fíjese que la, la otra, mire, la, la, la otra, sí, mire, uh -huh. funciona, ¿ves? Ah, pero la frontal uh -huh. es la que no, no sé, mire, uh -huh. pues ahí Sí, está. ah, pues sí. Pero no sé. <risa> ok, Eli. So, no. yes, tell me. ¿Qué quisiera practicar un poquito más el día de hoy? El pasado. Past las preguntas en pasado, teacher. Sí. Past Pero cuando me dice las preguntas en pasado, ¿qué siente que le está costando un poquito más, Eli? Yes. El verbo, el, pero es que cuando solo did you, no, pero cuando... Cuando ya lleva más. Verbo. Ajá. La W, la W, question. Uh -huh. Esas. Vaya, sí. pero lo que le cuesta es elaborarlo o entender la pregunta. O lo explicamos sí. todo. Y de elaborarlo. Vaya. Vamos a poner uh -huh. aquí algunas opciones. What, when, uh -huh. where, why. How often, how long, yeah, what time, who, which, mm. ok, aquí creo que están las más comunes, vaya Eli, lo único que usted tiene que hacer es estas son preguntas de información, o sea, que van a darle información sobre algo. Si usted quiere saber dónde pasó algo, vamos a utilizar la pregunta que signifique dónde, ¿verdad? O que haga referencia a places. Entonces, lo primerito uh -huh. que debe de hacer usted es saber bien cuál es la WH question adecuada. O sea, ¿qué es lo, qué es lo que usted necesita saber? O sea, ¿quiere saber la hora? ¿Quiere saber el qué? ¿Quiere saber quién? Entonces, depende de eso. Primero tome la, la WH question apropiada. Digamos que es when, ¿verdad? Quiero saber el momento. Hablar de días. When. Y de ahí, como le mencionaba, usted tiene que utilizar did 
que solo es como un identificador, por decirlo así, de pregunta, como que para que la gente sepa que está en pasado. Porque si yo utilizara do o does, ese auxiliar va a cambiar el tiempo de mi pregunta. Así que por eso necesito utilizar sí. ¿Okay? Entonces, primer paso, escoger el WH question apropiado para mi pregunta, para lo que yo quiero saber. ¿Cuándo? ¿Dónde? ¿Por qué? Escojo el apropiado. Paso dos, el auxiliar. Que no se me olvide el auxiliar. Paso tres, el sujeto. ¿A quién le está preguntando? When did Evelyn? When did my mom? When did the teacher? When did the classmate? Aquí va a ir la persona de la que usted quiere saber información. Okay? Como que yo diga, when did you? La escojo a usted, de usted quiero saber. Y luego uh -huh. la actividad, Eli. O sea, ¿qué es lo que, qué actividad? When did you... Go to the hospital. Okay, aquí está ya la actividad de la que yo quiero saber información. Lo último que queda es poner el question mark, el símbolo de pregunta. Y aquí usted ya ha elaborado, elaborado su pregunta en past tense. When, ¿verdad? Primero dijimos <coughs> escoger el WH question apropiado. Okay. Segundo paso, necesitamos el identificador del tiempo. En este caso dijimos que es did para todos los objects. Eso es bueno porque así no nos complicamos tanto la vida. Como si tuviéramos dos o tres, ¿verdad? De ahí, el sujeto. Sorry. El sujeto, que sería de la persona que usted quiere saber. When did you, when did the boss, the manager, the government, eh, etc. Y de último pone la actividad, que en este caso yo escogí, go to the hospital. Y ahí lo que falta es contestar. ¿Cómo contestaría la pregunta, Eli? I did. Ajá. I, I did yesterday. Ok. Recuerde que para contestar ya no necesita el did. El did solo me sirve para preguntar para que la gente conozca que está en pasado o para decir que no. Didn't. Pero en presente ya no lo no, necesita él. Es para, la, es para las preguntas cortas, el did, ¿verdad? Ah, las ajá, respuestas cortas. Ajá, ahí perdón, sí. Ah, vaya, Pero no si es did. largo, porque... Eso es para las yes, no questions, pero aquí ya no es una yes, no question. I went yesterday. Ajá, I went to yes. the hospital yesterday. Acuérdese que las time words van al principio o al final, pero no las colocamos como en medio. ¿Las okay. qué me dio? Las expresiones de tiempo, yesterday, last night, 9 p.m., 8 p.m., van al final, usualmente, o al principio, pero no las ponemos en medio. Mm. ¿Quiere probar, Eli? ¿Quiere tratar de hacer un, una de sus dos preguntas? Mm, bye. Mm. Mm, what did... You... Ay, no sé. Ay, teacher. No, teacher, no sé qué preguntar. Ah, eso pasa a veces que, que se le bloquea la mente a uno. Vaya, le voy a preguntar yo entonces. Pero sí me entiende la manera en la que hacemos la pregunta. Sí, por ejemplo, sí. where did you work? Ajá. Where did you work? Y de ahí ponga como una expresión de tiempo, last year, 
uh, in 2010, ¿verdad? Porque si me dice, where did you work? O sea, ¿dónde trabajé? ¿Cuándo, verdad? El año pasado, la semana pasada. Sería bueno poner un, un, una expresión de tiempo para hacer más clara la pregunta. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Mm -hmm. What okay. did you work last year? I worked in El Salvador last year. Mm -hmm. And you? Where did you work? In El, in El Salvador too. In El Salvador too. Uh, did you study English last year? Yes, I studied English in the university. Ah, in the university. Ajá, uh -huh. yes. correct. Y si usted ve ahí vamos a ir poquito a poquito armando una conversation. Porque ya con todo esto, ya usted puede armar diferentes oraciones. ¿Da? También está why, de por qué. Why did you study English? I study English because... Y ya usted pone las razones. Entonces, algo así, algo así funciona. ¿eh? That's, that's the way it works. Pero lo bueno es que todavía tenemos dos días para practicarlo más. Va a reforzar más porque a veces creo que sí entiende, ¿verdad? O entienden, pero cuando ya uno lo está hablando, se como que... Eh, como se maneja. Que, ajá, se, ya son muchas como estructuras o reglas que a veces ya el cerebro las confunde, ¿verdad? Y las mezcla, por decirlo así. Entonces tiene sí. que uno repetir, practicar, 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 de hacerlo tanto que se le queda en la memoria. Entonces, sí. eso necesitamos hacer un poco más. No, uh -huh. Entonces, teacher, cuando sea de WB Question, para la, la respuesta solo va a ir el verbo en pasado, ¿verdad? Y ya no vamos y a poner... Es afirmativa. Tí. Uh -huh. Ajá. Yes. Okay. El, in that case, we're going to stop here. Entonces creo que nos vamos a quedar aquí y mañana pues seguimos practicando más dentro de la clase. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Good night. You're welcome. Good night.